Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is another Google Chrome 101 if you want learning a little more about your web browser the most popular web browser people are using 70 plus percent of the uh, browsing on the internet is done with Google Chrome and we're going to take a look at the security options that are offered to you in Chrome when you go into your Chrome browser on the upper right corner in the three or vertical dots and go into settings go into privacy and security here you have an option that's called security what's that all about so you have an option of standard protection enhanced protection uh, first of all well that is a way of detecting bad websites typically Google keeps a list of all the websites that are known to have or possibly have malware or to be unsecure, unsafe for browsing. So it will actually tell you by uh, if you go to such a website. And you have two options here. There's the standard protection, which is just looks at websites, downloads, or extensions that you might actually want to uh, go to or install that are unsafe. It's going to warn you. And it's going to check to make sure that you're uh, in safe browsing or not. So it's going to give you some information. That's the standard protection. You have one that's called enhanced protection. Enhanced protection is actually a little more advanced. And it will even warn you about passwords that um, might have been breached. So if you go to a website and you enter a password, if it might actually pop up and say, well, you know, this is unsecure. This password that you're using is in a list of known passwords from data breach of the past. It has one different um, thing that is um, not happening on standard protection. Standard protection may send some bits of content or some URLs to Google, but it doesn't always do so. A lot of the information is already known by the, the Chrome browser itself. So it might not always send information, but it could. The enhanced protection will always be sending tons of data to Google of everything that you go to, every website, everything, every extension you install, and so on, because it's checking more uh, to make sure that you are, um, you know, protected. That's where you have to you know choose between your privacy kind of privacy and and versus being safer and it all depends on what you trust or not and do you trust google then you have help improve security on the web uh, for everyone this will send urls and pages and all sorts of information from what you visit to google to help discover new threats once again you're sending data to google if you put this on it's off by default uh, by default, it's uh, it could be on or off. Warn you if passwords are exposed in data breach. This uh, is better to be on. This is nice because if you have multiple websites that you've used over the years, we know there's been a lot of data breaches over the years. What's going to happen is that a lot of these data of passwords from the past where you went to websites and so on might be out there. And this is going to tell you when you enter a password into a website, oops, that password, by the way, I know it exists in the list of, that hackers have. And, of course, there's the no protection. That's the option where nothing is sent to Google, pretty much. The problem is you won't know if a website's dangerous. You won't be warned of anything. It's not recommended to use this. Then you have secure DNS. Some um, of the um, internet service providers actually have the possibility to um, have you sent through secure DNS when you actually look up for websites. So um, with the current provider, secure DNS may not be available all the time. It checks. If it can, it will do it. If it can't, then it goes to standard uh, DNS. Then you have managed certificates. What's that? Every website that you go to has a certificate to kind of certify that it's okay. You have to purchase certificates when you're on HTTPS, secure websites. And what happens is some 
why would you manage this? Well, some uh, enterprise, for example, if you use Chrome to connect to a business or to your workplace, you might need to have and add a special certificate in order to connect to the servers securely at your, um, you know, uh, work or with some businesses. And finally, there's the uh, Google Advanced Protection Program. This has a lot of safeguards and there's a lot of things with the account that you can look to. We're going to look at that in more details in a, a separate video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you're learning with Google Chrome.